hello. So we have a problem where there's a rough patch in, in, a, in the pathway of this box. Um, okay, so let's read the question. So in figure 8.8-34, uh, I'm assuming this is figure 8-34, um, uh, 1.2 kilogram, kil, kil, kilogram block is held at rest um, against a spring with a force constant k equals 60, 60, 665 newtons per meter. Initially, the spring is compressed the distance d. When the block is released, it slides across the surface that is frictionless, except for a rough patch of width of a five centimeter that has a coefficient of kinetic friction um, of 0.44. So now we have to find d such that the block speed after crossing the rough patch is 1.6 meters per second. Okay. Well, to start this off, let's figure out how much, how fast or what the kinetic energy of the box is when it leaves the spring. Well, even before that, let's figure out how much um, kinetic or how much potential energy the spring, uh, the 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 spring, uh, in, in stores on the object when it is compressed at d. Okay. Well, how do we do that? Well, potential energy. We know that potential energy of springs. Is equal to is equal to k x squared over two. Do we know? Okay, so we do, we don't know how how. So this is actually this is actually d instead of x in this equal in this in this uh in this diagram. So k d squared over two. So that's that's the p e. Now. When when this thing leaves the spring, all of this gets con converted into it gets converted into the kinetic energy. So we can say that P is equal to kinetic energy, and we know that kinetic energy is is uh, m v squared over r uh, two m v squared over two. All right. Now after crossing this five centimeter rough patch. Um, this kinetic energy loses some energy in form of a friction. So let's say that k d squared over two, and I'm using this two, these two guys inter interchangeably because um, because they're the same thing in in, uh, in this context. So basically, what this plus whatever. Whatever this, uh, whatever work there is, and it's called non-conservative work, is equal to is equal to the the kinetic energy, the after kinetic, the second kinetic energy. So that's this this side is going to be after the. So I'm going to use it use a different color. So m v squared over r or two. So the, this this part is after this rough patch. And and work of non-conservative energy is done when it's when it's on the rough patch. Okay, well, how do how do we figure out what non-conservative work is? Well, we know that um, it's it's in form of a friction. So friction, uh, the kinetic friction, we know is mu times uh, mu times normal force. And what is normal force? And no, normal force is the same thing as mg in this context. So because it's not moving up or down, so it's just mg. So th this for work, and since work is uh, force times distance, um, the non-conservative force right here is this expression times distance. So we're going to say so we're going to say kd squared squared over two plus non-conservative work, which is mu mg times distance, times distance, which is, which is going to be 0 0.05 meters, because 5 centimeters converted to meters is 0 0.05 meters, is equal to, is equal to 
the outcome, mv squared over, well actually this is going to be negative because the, the work done is negative because it, it actually slows down the work. Work is done, the work of the non-conservative force is done this way, but the motion is this way, so it must be negative. So that is wrong, so it's going to be negative. There we go, that, that seems better. All right, so it says find D such that the block speed after crossing rough patch is uh, 1.6 meters. So now I guess we just solve for D. That's all we have to do, I, I think. So let's do that. So 6, 665 times D squared. I'm just, I'm just plugging in the numbers now. 2 minus mu is, uh, what is mu? Mu is 0.44. So 0 0.44 times mass, which is 1.2, times gravity, 9.8, times 0.5, point, 0.05, which was the, which was 0.05 meters, which was, which was the distance of the patch, is equal to, so is equal to, um, the mass, 1.2, times velocity squared, so that would be 1.6 squared, squared, all over 2, Okay, now we just solve for solve for this thing. So, so let's just do let's do some equation rearranging. So this so if we add uh, the work of non-conservative force on each side, which is this purple expression, we would get this plus this. So that that should be a plus. That should be a plus. Okay, let me move this to the left a little bit, is equal to, is equal to this. And now if we multiply 2 on each side, um, we would get, we would get, if we do 2, if we do 2 for each of these expressions, then this would be, uh, t we would multiply by 2 there, and this 2 would disappear, and then we would be left with this one. And we, this two would disappear as well, and we just divide all of that by 665. So let me I can draw a better line over 665, and then we're left with d d squared, and now we just take the square root of this whole whole thing, whole thing. Ooh. I can draw a better line than that. Okay, so d is so distance is the square root of uh, of this plus this over 665. So let's just plug that into the calculator. So the square root of the numerator, which is 1.2 times 1.6 squared plus 2 times 0.44 times 1.2, wait, 1.2 times 9.8. 0.8 times 0.05, so that's a numerator, all over the denominator, which is 665. And that gives me 0.0734. And since I think it's uh, your answer is in centimeters, and this is in, is in the meters, so we have to multiply by 100. So distance is 7.347 meters. So D is equal to 7.347 meters. And be sure to use your numbers for this and this. And I hope I didn't, uh, didn't make it too hard or too confusing for you.